Hello everyone, let's solve the problem of the day. The problem is remove duplicate elements from sorted linked lists. Okay, so given a singly linked list uh, consisting of n nodes, the task is to remove duplicates, nodes with duplicate values from a given list. Okay, if there are any. So there is also one node given here. Try not to use extra space. The nodes are arranged in a sorted way. Okay, so this is especially mentioned. So let's uh, figure out what the problem is trying to say. Uh, with the help of the examples all right so this is the first sample test case you can see this is your given uh, linked list and what it is asking you to do is it is asking you to remove all the duplicate elements fine so as we can see here uh, at a high level these uh, these values are being repeated right and these are unique so the answer should be something like this Okay, so this is going to be our answer link list. What did we do? We just removed one element that was being repeated, right? So this is what we have to perform. For the next one, as you can see here, all the values are actually getting repeated. So we do not have to keep the repeated values. All the values that are being repeated, we are going to delete them all. And eventually, we have to give one value that is not getting repeated okay in this case this is going to be our answer now one unique thing for about this question that you should keep in mind is that you are already told that the linked list is sorted all the elements are in sorted manner so what we can figure out of the point that the linked list is sorted we can say that if the linked list is sorted so that all the elements that are getting repeated should be adjacent right once any value is sorted just like for the first example we, we were having two two four five right assume we have another example one seven two three seven two five okay so if our linked list uh, was given in this sequence then it it would have been more typical but the question has made it way easier for us so what do we have to do we have to first think of the linked list as in sorted manner so if we have it as sorted this will become like this correct so as you can see when we are talking about a sorted combination that means all the values that are getting repeated are adjacent so we just have to check the next values we just have to check the next values we do not need to care about all the others we just need to check the next value from where we are standing that's all so let's see the approach of this question so what do we have to do we have to initialize a temporary reference uh, to the head just for your basic traversal of the linked list then when we have to traverse the linked list we have to continuously check that the data of the current element and of the next element is same if that is true then what do we have to do we have to remove the next node and if it is not then we have to move ahead right let's uh, understand it with the help of a linked list so again, taking this example, we can see if we are standing here and we check the next node, that means we are having our temporary variable here. Assume I also attach one temp variable here, temp reference better said. Now what I'm doing, I'm checking if my temps data, if that is equals to temps next data, that means I'm talking about this node, the one that is placed next. If these two things are same, then what I have to do? I have to remove this node. And how it will be done? It, it is very simple. Where we are standing, we just have to break this connection and we have to make this connection. All right. Then this, then this node will be lost. Right. You would, uh, you won't be having any connection to this particular node. Right. So uh, it seems easy. Let's see how it is done so uh, when you have to code this is a sample code for it you are just initializing your uh, temporary reference with the head then you are traversing it and inside your traversal what you have to do you just have to check the data that you have to the next data okay and if that is so this line is just removing the node in the middle that's all you are making this connection what you are doing for that 
you are sending temps next next which is temps next next uh, this value to this node that means temps next so temps next is this area this next it will be now pointing towards this instead of this node fine so once uh, you have reassigned the value then what you can do you can keep on moving further for the next uh, repeated elements and if that is not the case that means if we are having our normal values that are not getting repeated then what we'll do i'm having two here four here then in such cases i'm just going to move my temp one step ahead that means i do not have to remove any element right so once i'm doing it it will be the temp will be shipped, uh, shifted here until we are on the last node so once we have traversed the linked list completely, all the repeated elements will be removed. So let's see how this code is working. Okay, so uh, let's compile and run the code. All right, it is passing the sample case. Let's submit the solution. All right, so it is passing all the test cases. Let's quickly discuss the complexity it might have. Okay, so again coming uh, here, what we are actually doing is we are just traversing the linked list for only one single time, right? Once we are starting from here and we are ending till the end of the linked list, what we are doing, we are traversing it for one time. And assuming that n number of nodes are there in our linked list, our complexity is going to be O n. Okay, that is your linear time complexity. I hope this video helped you. Keep coding.